Hi, I'm Joanne from 15spatulas.com and we are making a warm Brussels sprout salad with crispy goat cheese. If I were to rank my favorite salads ever, this would definitely be up there. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook our Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of olive oil to my skillet. And I have one pound of shredded Brussels sprouts here. You can actually just buy it already shredded at the store, which I definitely recommend. Otherwise you'll have to cut all this by hand. That doesn't sound fun. So get it already shredded right in the package. Just toss that around. And then we're gonna season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. Nice generous pinch. And then pepper, freshly ground. And we're gonna cook this for just like three minutes. We don't want it to get mushy or anything. We also don't want it to be raw. So we're just putting a little bit of heat on it. It's definitely gonna have some texture still. That looks great. It started to turn bright green in color. We took that edge of rawness off. We're gonna turn the heat off, take this to the counter and add some fun ingredients to this. I'm gonna add my sauteed Brussels sprouts to this big bowl. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna add a third of a cup of dried cranberries for a little sweetness and color third of a cup of slivered almonds for crunch, three tablespoons of a good quality olive oil. I like a fruity one personally. And then two tablespoons of an aged balsamic vinegar. You could use any vinegar you like. I just feel like the aged balsamic is best friends with all the ingredients. I'm gonna give this a quick toss and then we're gonna make the star of our show, the crispy goat cheese. It is goat cheese time. I'm a little embarrassed by how excited I am, but I really am. So I have a five ounce log of goat cheese here, and I'm gonna split it into four pieces. Just with your fingers, we're gonna pat this out, shape them into patties. Just give it a little squish. Since this goat cheese is so creamy and malleable, it's quite forgiving. So just kind of flatten it out, about like a quarter inch thick, half inch, just like that. And then we're gonna bread this. It's gonna go into a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Give that a little pat and shake. And then into one beaten egg. Make sure you get all the spots and then let the excess drip off. If you've ever had like breading fall off, it's probably because you didn't give it a good shake. So get that off there, and then finally, some panko breadcrumbs, my favorite breadcrumbs of all because they are the crispiest. And then back onto the plate, and then we'll repeat. Boom! Now we're going to fry these in olive oil until they're crispy and golden on the edges and a little bit like melty and creamy in the middle. Got a nice hot pan over medium heat. I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of olive oil we need these to be crispy. And we're gonna add those goat cheese patties to the oil. Hear that sizzle? Always want that sizzle. We're gonna let that cook for about two minutes on each side, but we're really looking for that golden color. Get them onto a plate and then on to our salad. It's time to plate up our salad. I just wanna to prove to you right now that we have an honest relationship because I fully admit that I'm really eating this salad to eat this goat cheese. I'm very excited right now. Spoon that on. It's a generous amount, I've earned this. I take crispy goat cheese, put one on top, maybe two and it's time to eat. Do you hear that shell? It's crispy. So creamy in the middle. Mmm. That is heaven.